All right, we need a seat. And of course, I've been working in the shop cleaning. And as soon as I go outside to work, it starts raining. Like, I was just out here, and I came inside to get the camera. And that point, in that amount of time, it started raining. So, let's just go get the seat, and we'll uh, go on from there. So this is the seat mount. Uh, it looks like you could originally readjust it into several positions uh, from here. Uh, I don't know if we'll, we probably won't reuse this piece. I've got an idea. So let me show you what I found. We'll walk out to the mower graveyard. And our seat options aren't great, but we can at least get a seat mount and then maybe get a replacement seat. Uh, you can get these mower seats pretty cheap. I like probably this design best. It's a little bit higher back, but you can see that seat is shot. Yeah, that mower needs to go scrap. This one has a, uh, this seat is junk as well. This one's been parted out. Uh, that one needs to go to scrap. This is all scrap. Needs to go. This one is what we're gonna pick from. And then that one, that seat's no good as well. But this one, it's real common. Uh, we should be able to get a replacement. What I like is that we can take this whole bracket and we can just weld this bracket onto that other seat bracket. That gives us a lift up. Uh, if we need to adjust the seat forward and backwards, we've got adjustment here. Uh, so I kinda like this design. Now, we may have to do, we may, end up using these springs we may not we may just you know maybe put some rubber stoppers here or something uh, that seat bracket itself does have springs in it so I'm not sure if we really need these but we may take them just in case and you know it's not gonna hurt to have some extra springs on the seat so I'm gonna take these two bolts out we'll take these out as well and that'll get us our uh, our seat and this seat is I mean it's it's pretty rough but we can get we can get a replacement pretty cheap and we'll use it for right now we'll throw a towel on it or something and and use it for a little bit until we get something better and like I said this is gonna definitely be our cheapest option for getting a seat for that tractor and we'll just use this bracketry for it. Just so you can see, you know, this one is shot, but it's the same setup. It's got that center bolt, so it's a real common style. So that's that's how we're gonna, you know, this is the same bracket setup. So very common. You can get those seats cheap. All right, I got the original seat bracket on. There's one bolt I couldn't get on because it's in the way of the hydraulic line. I'm either going to have to undo the hydraulic line right here um, and see if I can get that bolt in or maybe get a shorter bolt. Uh, it really doesn't have to be that long. Uh, so we've got three bolts in it and we're just going to kind of see how the seat fits on it. I feel like it's going to be too high with this bracket on the front, just looking at it, we took the original pivot bracket off. I took the original pivot bracket off. But I'm just going to see how that fits. And it seems really high up. It's wet. So. That, all these tools and stuff out of my pocket.
I feel like it's really close though. Of course, we've got some adjustment in the seat itself. It's not bad. It might be just a little bit high. What we can do, we'll pivot this bracket down. That'll get the seat pretty much sits flush. Actually, that does feel better, except for the back. The back is, it's, it's leaning forward now. But I feel like that is a better height. So we need to get it down lower than what it is. Um, considering making or modifying the bracket and make it pivot off the original pivot right here, we could, uh, it's too wide. What we could do though is um, we could just weld a bolt on there. I'd cut these off, weld a bolt, and then um, just put a, a spacer. Um, and so I think that's what we're going to do. This seat right here is wider, or seat bracket is wider than this. We're just going to figure out what we need to do in the back if we go that route. Last few times I went to start this thing. Uh, it's kind of been intermittent, but the, the starter solenoid is not... Uh, it's clicking, but it's not making contact. So contacts in the solenoid are probably dirty or burnt. And we're going to see if we can uh, fix it. No parts required, hopefully fix. So I'm going to unhook the positive battery cable. Go ahead and try to get this solenoid off. We're not going to take the starter off. We're just going to try to take the solenoid off. And hopefully we can, we can repair this thing. bad news on the solenoid so I was hoping those screws went all the way through and would uh, go into this and then it would come apart but it looks like what they've done is they folded the the can over and that's what um, locks this end cap in and then uh, under this end cap there must be something that bolts to it you can see the bottom end of the bolts right there. I'm not sure what those are, but there's nothing that might be part of this. There's nothing here. Uh, we can't get it apart any further without destroying this here, and I wouldn't have another way of attaching it. I guess I could try folding that over and see, but this is probably really brittle, and we would probably end up cracking this, so I'm not gonna push my luck on this thing. Uh, now that we got these out, you know, we've got some slop in here. I sprayed some contact cleaner all down in there and just kind of wiggled these around. Maybe that, you know, they would kind of clean up. You can't, they're locked into position so you can't move them much. But just spraying some contact cleaner in there and wiggle them around a little bit. Maybe we've cleaned them up enough that it'll work. Uh, we're also going to clean up all the connections. These connections here were really 
grungy. Um, so maybe we had a bad connection there. Uh, so we're just gonna try it and see see what happens. It didn't feel right, this little rod, and so I was going to take the starter off, then I kept messing with it a little bit, and I think it I think it had popped out of its little spot on the Bendix, and I kept messing with it, and got it fished back down in there, and got it to where I could move it back and forth, and I could feel the Bendix clunking in and out, and so then I felt good about it. I was going to pull it off and line it up and all that, but... I was able to do it with it on there. It may not have popped out. It just didn't quite feel right. And once I messed with it, it, it started feeling right. So, I don't know. We'll see, I guess, if it works. I haven't hooked this wire back up. Uh, I mean, I guess I could. But we'll see if it works first. Sounds good to me. So uh, I'll finish hooking it up, and I think we're, I think that got it. I looked on Facebook Marketplace, found a seat for $25. It's in good shape, no cracks, got a little surface rust on it. This is a little stiff, but 25 bucks. These are the cheapest I could find, new, was $60. So this one also came with a seat bracket, same as this one. And my plan was still to try to somehow adapt the Craftsman style seat mount. I'm kind of running out of time. I need to go get the disc. We may end up revisiting this. A couple reasons. I've got an idea. And I think my idea is good. So, let me go over it. So, the problem we had is this... Or one of the problems we have is this seat mount, this spring setup, is froze up. What you've got here is uh, these are pins that are supposed to move in these bushings, and they don't. So I've lubed up all of them. This one is almost uh, completely gone, but maybe this thing will start moving. It barely moves, so we'll see. It may free up. We'll just keep lubing it. Or we may end up having to put some heat on it, but for now, I'm running out of time. Uh, I've got some... I've going to meet the guy to pick up the disc in a couple hours and I kind of wanted a seat on it so this is the route we took I think long run if this seat spring setup starts working that's our best option if it doesn't and so that's kind of why I went this way what I ended up doing is those pins that the original seat mount mounted on I ground the welds off knocked the pins out threw these bolts in here with the double nut so they wouldn't loosen off bent these brackets in a little bit so that they would go bent this lip right here because it was binding up on it bent it flat it was curved over and so now this will lay over on this seat bracket we could probably put some pads of rubber on the bottom of this to kind of pad it on there so it's not just metal to metal i don't know if it's going to squeak or rattle but we may do that the replacement seat i got it only had one center bolt 
I wasn't crazy about that. Uh, this one's got two, you can see, so it doesn't, uh, there's no chance of it swiveling. This one, well, I guess it can't swivel because it gets locked in here, so that's fine. But uh, I can't use that center bolt because we've got this bra brace right here and this here. I'd have to build it up and then that would make it too high. So I kind of went with uh, this, these two bolts. They've never been used on this seat, so I tapped them again. They're pretty rusty. Um, they line up to here. So we're just going to go ahead and just bolt the seat down. We could, I, I didn't want to cut this out. I was afraid it was going to weaken this bracket. Plus we would, we could get in the way of this as well. So it, it is what it is. If we end up needing it, we'll cut this out and figure some other way to brace it up and redesign it, whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and start bolting this all in. There's our seat, and that's how it's going to stay for now. So, changed up my plan a little bit. So what I did, what I started to do, I was going to drill three holes, and so we'd have three adjustments. And as I was working on that, I noticed I had a decent amount of space in here. I mean, at least the thickness of a bolt head. So I took the lock washer off because the lock washer was pretty thick, and just put the bolt in. And yes, it pushes down on this a little bit, but it works with the center hole. Now, what I did find was this seat does not fit this seat frame. Didn't notice that. Um, somebody must have swapped seats. It, it doesn't fit right. So I, I pounded it in a little bit over here in these corners to make it fit a little better. What happens is no matter what position you put it in, um, it doesn't fit. Well, if you, even if you slide it all the way forward, it still doesn't fit in here. Now, this is supposed to fit flat right here. There's nothing that's missing in between here. I can, we could go look at the other seat. There is that piece that goes along here that has the safety switch, but that's on the bottom side of it. There's nothing that fits here. For now, we're just gonna leave it like this. We may revisit this seat later, or I may see if I've got one of my other mowers, I may be able to do kind of like some seat swapping. You know, this is a good seat, but maybe it'll bolt up to one of my other mowers and the other mower seat will bolt up here and both will be happy. 
So this is what we've got. This is what we're going to go with. This is simple and easy. We can do a center bolt. Uh, I can't use the wing nut style, style, but you know, three quarter inch wrench. We can loosen that up. Uh, it's not like it's going to fall out because it's it's wedged in here. I don't think it would ever loosen up because it's basically going to be putting pressure on this bolt all the time. It's going to be sitting on this center piece. So there's our seat. I mean. I don't know why you, I mean, I guess you can do that so it doesn't have water that gets, that sits in it. The old one pivoted like that as well. But I'm happy with that. Seat done. And it's adjustable. So that's awesome. Um, I think that's it. So I'm going to, this will be in a separate video, but... I hooked this up, the drawbar. It's a really neat drawbar. It takes one pin through there and it slides in and out. Really cool. Put a 25 cent two inch ball that I got at a garage sale on there. And I'm gonna use it to pull my trailer out and get it around because I, it, it's so wet here and I need to get the trailer out. So thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below. Hit the like button and subscribe for more.